Hi everyone, Sam here from The Skin Blog. In this video, we'll be talking about avocado oil, a very well-known fruit, best known for its connection to millennials and avocado toast. Originating in Mexico and cultivated over the past 5,000 years, so as you can see, millennials weren't even close to the first, although this is probably the first time avocados have been blamed for a generation not being able to afford property of their own. Cosmetically, it's known as Pasea Gratisma oil. Now, avocado oil has a shelf life of around 12 months, I would very much recommend adding some an additional antioxidants, even though its fatty acid profile is incredibly stable, the antioxidant content is very low, so try some rosemary CO2 extract or some sunflower-derived tocopherol blends. It's dark green in coloration with a vegetative aroma. It's non-comogenic to a factor of three, making it have a risk of clogging of your pores, though it's still relatively low risk. Uh, this will be due to the fact it has a high concentration of saturated fatty acids combined with the primary fatty acid content of omega-9 oleic acid, which is an unsaturated fatty acid, but they kind of act similar even though then it's unsaturated. This coincides with its absorption rate of being 4, which makes it very slow absorbing. The iodine index matches the fatty acid profile, though, very well, due to the fact it ranges between 64 and 95, making it not heat sensitive. And due to the fact that there is very minimal um, compounds found within avocado oil, there's, no, there's not really much of an issue with heating it, so don't worry about that part. Now, its fatty acid profile consists primarily of omega-9 oleic acid, with up to 80%, omega-6 linoleic acid, up to 25%, and omega-7 palmitic acid, up to 20%. The omega-9 oleic acid prioritizes concentrating on your skin barrier, strengthening it, and improving water retention, alongside providing emollient properties, which softens your skin and improves skin conditions. It also provides some minor anti-inflammatory properties as well. The omega-6 linoleic acid, while low in concentration, will be what prevents avocado oil being even slower absorbing or even more comogenic. It provides anti-inflammatory and anti-irritant properties. Its properties also improve your sebum regulation and reduces the risk of acne. The palmitic acid content is quite high in avocado oil, being saturated with incredibly rich emollient properties which support oleic acid on its mission to strengthen your skin barrier and improve water retention. Now there are some small concentrations of squalene up to 1300 milligrams per litre, which supports the small concentration of oleic acid in providing anti-inflammatory and sebum regulating properties. This is due to the fact squalene naturally makes up what 13% of your sebum composition. There isn't much else within avocado oil other than a minor concentration of alpha tocopherols, which are a vitamin E only ranging up to 140 milligrams per litre, so not much. You're talking one, 140 out of a millionth of the molecular parts, parts per million. 140 parts per million is the correct way of saying it. Um, but those will provide a very minor amount of benefit. It is the more potent of the four tocopherol types, providing antioxidant benefits such as reducing UV damage, lipid peroxidation while strengthening your cellular membranes. So, avocado oil is nourishing and rich due to its fatty acid profile, but it does make it sadly comogenic and very slow absorbing. This will mean you're unlikely to use avocado oil as a base carry oil, but it still be very good due to its intense moisturizing properties within night oils, targeting mature skin type products and even hair oils. When it comes to suppliers, for those in the UK, I would try Makes Ingredients, who only cost £16.76 a litre for organic, unrefined supplies of avocado oil. For those in the US, I would try Bulk Naturals, who cost only $43.25 per litre for the same quality of organic, unrefined avocado oil. Anyway, thank you for listening. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have, please subscribe and leave a comment below if there's any other topics you'd like us to cover. See you soon.